Interesting here, isn't it? Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today is a beautiful day because any day one can be out on two wheels is a beautiful day. Yeah, we're on the Pentagali, not just any Pentagali, the V4S. Yeah, to say the S, what's that? Well, let's take a look at the competition chart here. Where does this bike stand with the Japanese 4 and the European 3? Well, I say European 3, really it's two Italian bikes and one German, if you want to call that European. Uh, but I have these bikes arranged by weight and look at what's number two on this list, yeah. Because this is a track day weapon, you are concerned about weight, but they're all within kilos of each other. The heavyweight being the Kawasaki down at the bottom and then the lightweight, the M1000RR, although you can get the, just the S1000RR for, uh, I think, 90, 195 kilos. It's still lighter than this, I think. Because uh, that's, oh, and, and yeah, this F, it, S is with the lithium ion battery, the lighter battery too, like the M is and the S is not on the BMW. But power, take a look at where this thing is. It's not bad, but it's second on the list. Well, third, because Honda and Aprilia are fighting for first place. But yeah, again, when you're talking this much power, guys, uh, a couple ponies in either direction isn't going to matter. 200 is 200. If it's 205 or 210 or 215, nobody really cares, and you're not going to be quite honest with you be able to tell the difference unless you're super, super, super sensitive. Now, you can see on this list, Ducati is in pricing here. They're always the price leader in every bracket, whatever you put them in, and it's true here. So the normal V4 starts out at 25. This one with the S is 33, and you can go to the SP for 40. Uh, okay, there. And, uh, but that's how I basically start out the entry and then up spec with these pricing here. Like the M1000RR, yeah, you can get for 33K. So now you're talking, same as this S here. And that's why I did the performance, the power and weight and everything over there and put, put those in for the S's. Now the Honda, I did the SP there because the price, look at it, it's 27K. So hmm, pretty good deal, Honda. And you are power king. Granted, it's only a half. <laughs> Granted, it's not very much. Okay, so this is the S, and this is a new bike this year. Say, well, wait a minute, Scott, what's changed? The engine, let's talk about that. They have four new mapping modes this year. So you say, what do you mean? Well, it's the only OEM that is doing mapping by gear. None of the other guys are doing this yet. Well, unless you get your race bikes, your MotoGP, your super bikes, etc. But street bikes, Ducati's it. Say, so what do you mean? Well, they have full, then they have high and medium, and then low. So you can put those three together. Full is first gear. They have the mapping to where you can just open it up and it's not going to kill you. But then second through six gears, they're wide open, full power, no throttle control. If you want to go kill yourself, go for it. Uh, I didn't ride in that mode, believe it or not. High and medium. This is gears one, two, and three. Now they're doing individual maps for one, two, and three. And so that you can go full throttle and still be cool, look great, unless there's an obstacle in front of you, then you die. But then low is street mode, and that is 150 ponies, just like the Pentagalli V2. And uh, that's really easy to ride, guys. I was, I was loving that. Transmission. Now, 
Gears one and two are now taller, so they're closer to third gear. Also with taller gears, Ducati say, you can get another two or three miles an hour out of the top speed. It's like 300 kilometers an hour or 186 miles an hour. Uh, who cares? Uh, once you're talking that fast to me, Ducati, give me a break. But it's more streetable is what they say for this transmission. Uh, for the first and second gears, them being taller, it's more control. Aerodynamics, yeah, look at these fins. These have been redesigned to create less drag, but at the same time, reducing drag, increasing the downforce by a little bit. Also, you'll notice other vents down here and also underneath the belly pan, Ducati say that it increases the cooling effect, makes the engine run a little cooler so it can run faster, longer, hotter and still be cooled. And the chassis here, you're looking at new forks down here, five more millimeters of travel on these Ulins. This is the EC2 and it also has the event-based mode. Basically they will learn on the track, for example, they learn. Also with the chassis, the swing arm pivot point has been raised up five millimeters. So when you're wheeling out of a corner, it's easier to keep it down. Ergonomics are improved this year. Yeah, basically Ducati's trying to make this easier to ride. The seat is flatter and it has a new coating on it to prevent you from sliding forward during heavy braking. Also speaking of the tank, one liter more and it's more dug out a little bit here and also with your arms. So if you're really leaned off, this groove right here, actually it felt pretty good when you're really leaning off this bike. Uh, that helps a lot. Also, what's new? Yeah, you got a new uh, Track Evo screen here to where your numbers here will flash as to what you're doing. So yeah, you got to be in uh, Track Mode A or B to get this screen up, which I was doing all the way out here. And the rear APS is off. I'm like, oh. yeah, but I wasn't riding it that hard to worry about it. Now, Ducati's making this easier to ride on the street. So, how is this on the street? So, so going at a sedate speed, this is not bad for the street guys. Let's try this quick shifter. And you guys know I'm going to love it. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why? Because it's just fun. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to lose my selfie stick. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is just hilarious. Oh my goodness. Uh, the the RSV4, that's what this reminds me of. If you guys want to, if, if you've ever ridden the Aprilia RSV4, same bike. Except the RSV4 is a little harder to ride than this. Ooh, never thought I would say that. The, the S1000RR is easier to, way easier to ride than this. So that's how I would rank them. RSV4 hardest, this is second hardest, and then uh, the BMW, the third and easiest to ride of the three. Because I've ridden all three of them. Now the, the Japanese, I, I haven't given a, a ride to. Boy, what are they doing here? Oh, they're putting up the windmill. Ah, cool. But here, th this, this powertrain is very compliant. I'm, I'm really surprised. And no matter how much throttle I'm on or not, it's very compliant, very... Oh, sure, no problem, we'll do it. Uh, unlike Ducati, that's the, the interesting thing. Now let's come up to the chassis here, guys. Look at this, oh yeah. And also Ulin's electronic steering damper. All adjustable on the screen there. 130, no, sorry, 125 mils of travel and 330 
millimeter disc. Those bad boys are huge. And of course, yeah, Stylemas there. Coming around to the back, I got to show you this thing of beauty here, guys. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, yeah. And to see the uh, Brembo on this side, here, on the back here, it's a two-piston right down there. And look at that swing arm. Oh, yeah. And you get the S with these rims there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> now, how does this new chassis or updated or revised chassis, is it more rideable on the street? Oh, how is this rear brake? Oh, <sighs> okay. I felt that, but I would like a little more feel. What about the front? Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> The mirrors are worthless though. <laughs> I have to really bend a look. But that is on any of your your super sport bikes. Your super bikes. Uh, and these front and rear, I will not complain about these unions. Oh man, this is cool. I'll drop her down again. I'm living in first and second gears here. You don't need to switch. You don't need third, fourth, and fifth on here. See, I have the track screen up, so I'm in uh, race mode B, which is way above my level of skill, guys. <laughs> and uh, I have the selfie stick on, and I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to keep my speed down a little bit. Uh, but in this race track mode, this is hilarious. Th this bike is just killing me it's 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 so funny uh actually i think ducati you've nailed it I, I didn't ride the two previous gens of this uh the 18 or the 20 but now here in 22 this is sedate enough in my humble opinion to to ride on the street I, i'm i'm finding this on off throttle is very good now let's get into the ergonomics of this bike. If we look at the rest of this, the back part of this bike, oh yeah, look at that tail end. Oh yeah, and it's, gee, it looks familiar, just like on the other Pentagalli <laughs> and also the uh, Street Fighter. And 850 mils off the ground here, uh, filled up, 17 liters. This bad boy weighs 195 and a half kilos. Now how do those kilos feel say in town this in town here with my hand on my on my left leg it is just fine okay it's a little snatchy because i'm in race b mode uh but um it, it's okay i i am not finding a problem here uh okay granted it's 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 a super bike guys uh, here here with this here let's drop it down in the first it has no problem riding around in 50 kilometers. Here, let's go all the way up to fourth. There. Oh. <laughs> it says, okay, if you want to go that slow, I will. That's what this bike says to me. And that's very, very interesting. Very s 1000 rr risk, Even the M. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. The, the mirrors, though, are worthless while they are on any super bike. Yeah, let's go back down to two. I do love that blipper, that boop, boop, boop. <laughs> that sound and instantaneous power though, guys. But in, in town, yeah, this thing is so flickable, it's hilarious. I, everything about this just puts a smile on my face. Yeah, and, and you can ride this thing sedately. Uh, like a normal civilized person like speed limit is 50. Let's go 50 here. No problem It, it, it will do it uh, On a Penagali. I, I am so surprised On a Penagali, it will do 50 kilometers per hour Happily hmm. I am shocked although the heat I'm really starting to feel the heat underneath my left and right thigh yeah, it's really coming, and today it's only 15 degrees C. Uh, so that's a problem with the heat, but anyway. But in town, uh, for a superbike, two thumbs up, boom, boom.
controls in TFT. Here is where you can control your modes and whatever it is you want to select on the TFT over here. Yeah, this has the button for heated grips, even though that's not an option that was selected on this bike, even though you still have the button. Even though you press it, nothing happens. <laughs> you got to get that option, I guess. Uh, the TFT is 5 inch. I like this one the most, but you got to be on track A or B to get this. How do you go? What does the other one look like? Well, you got to go down here and then to sport there. There, that's how your sport or street can be also will be like that. Uh, overall, guys, if I'm not going to do a track day with this bike, I wouldn't get it so, well, with any super bike. That's the focus. You're going to do some track bike days a year, four, five, ten, or your your uh, your track day addicts will do 20 or 30 a, a, a summer or a season. So if that's your, your focus, then this is it. This bad boy will get some good times, believe it or not, and it's easier to ride because that's been Ducati's focus. In 18, when this came out, it was pretty much uncontrollable. Then in 20, more electronics, more ergonomics, and now in 22. It's not quite at the level of BMW. Has this passed the Aprilia RS V4? I think so. Yeah, as far as manageable and how to ride it and get good track times. I would put the, the BMW the easiest then this, then the Aprilia. Those are the European three that I would rank as far as difficulty. BMW the easiest and the Aprilia being the most difficult. Uh, now the Japanese four haven't been on them in a while, so I can't give you that opinion. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. As always, ride safe. That's most important and number one on the list. And number two, guys, ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers.